Peter. The horse is here. Calyrex Shadow Rider is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, beyond being absolutely busted, the higher ups at Game Freak decided to lock it behind a $40 paywall, and you definitely get what you pay for. This Pokemon has been a top tier since the moment it was introduced into the game, and today we're going to explore why that is. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content. As a matter of fact, you should really just subscribe right now because I have a whole playlist full of videos just like this that I know you'll enjoy. And if you think you're subscribed, do me a favor and double check because only like half of my viewers actually are. With that, let's get into it. Like I said, Calyrex Shadow Rider is just completely busted. We already had a whole year of Calyrex dominance back in 2022. It even won the World Championships in the hands of Eduardo Cunha. As a Ghost Psychic type, it has an extremely powerful offensive typing, access to powerful tools like Stab Astro Barrage and Expanding Horse to come off of its, frankly offensive, base 165 base special attack stat. Not only did this stat addict who designed this decide to give it 165 base special attack, but they decided it'd be a good idea to give it 150 base speed, meaning it's faster than literally every other restricted legendary Pokemon, and basically everything not named Regieleki or Shedinja or Ninjask. This allows for it to spam spread moves without fear of having to eat a hit, unless the user has some kind of skill issue of not building with speed control options. Sure, you can sucker punch to one-shot it, but back in the day, two years ago, Calyrex would almost always come with this thing. I mean, it makes sense that Royalty would have a maid, but Psychic Train blocking Sucker Punch while also boosting Expanding Force made this thing a menace. I mean, at least Incineroar could snarl to get around Follow Me, right? I'm the big dilf, don't do that! I'm not a Patron in a bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your fun up. Speaking of Incineroar, like any great leader, Calyrex creates jobs. Specifically, the job of protecting it from dark types. The existence of Calyrex is the sole reason Mian Xiao isn't flipping burgers right now. Mian Xiao having inner focus and stab close combat along with wide guard means it can function as Calyrex's personal bodyguard by one-shotting Incineroar with close combat and blocking any opposing Astral Barrages, Precipice Blades, Glacial Lances, or Snarls. To be honest, it really doesn't matter what you do, the Calyrex Shadow matchup is always going to be annoying. Facing Calyrex Shadow is a lot like Kidney Stones, because no matter how much you prepare for it, it's not going to be fun. Also, Incineroar is there. Astro Barrage is just fundamentally a messed up move. It's a 120 base power ghost type move with perfect accuracy that hits both opponents. When accounting for the drop in power of spread moves, it's stronger than hitting both opponents individually with a Shadow Ball. Frankly, kinda messed up. I'd say I don't know why Calyrex gets a perfectly accurate signature move when Groudon doesn't, but I already know why. $40. Its ability only makes the move more ridiculous. Game Freak liked Calyrex so much that they let him have two abilities. As one combines Grim Nay, the ability of Spectrier, which boosts the special attack set of the user with each KO, with Unnerve, an ability which doesn't allow the opponent to consume berries. That doesn't sound like a really busted combo, but when you take into account the fact that Pokemon like Amoongus and Incineroar rely on berries to stay alive long enough to counter most of the Pokemon that they beat, it's kinda busted. This means no damage reduction from Ghost or Psychic moves via Berry, and no recovery. So if Calyrex manages to pick up a double KO with Astral Barrage, it has its special attack immediately doubled. Very balanced. Typically, when a Pokemon has a busted form, it requires their held item slot to be filled. Take for example the blue or red orb for Kyogre or Groudon, and the rusted sword and shield for Zamazenta and Zacian Crowned. For some reason, Calyrex's Reigns of Unity are actually a key item instead of a held item. This allows for Calyrex to run whatever item it needs to. It can run Focus Sash, Choice Specs, Choice Scarf, Life Orb, or Leftovers. Well, actually, I'm probably the only one running Leftovers, but, you know, Fat Calyrex is the wave, trust me, I know. Honestly, Calyrex is probably the face of a good Pokemon only getting better with the generational mechanic. Back in 2022, it could abuse Dynamax to live hits it had no business living while turning its weaker coverage options like Mud Shot into legitimate nukes. This has only gotten worse with Terrestrialization, allowing for it to remove its bad defensive typing while keeping all the benefits of its original offensive typing. Like, ah, sweet, I finally got Incineroar safely onto the field so I can click Knock Off into Calyrex. Oh, wait, never mind, it's a fairy type now. I guess I lose. The existence of Draining Kiss Calyrex needs to be studied by future generations. Calyrex is so busted that it can two-shot neutral targets with Terra Fairy Draining Kiss while recovering 75% of the damage it dealt. Yeah, Incineroar should hypothetically beat Calyrex, as should Urshifu Dark and basically every other Dark-type. 
but Calyrex just busted out the wine and is kind of ready to get intimate. But Calyrex's biggest issue though is probably the fact that its biggest op is other Calyrex. There's practically no reason not to be timid max speed because if you aren't, the other Calyrex will be and one-shot yours with Astral Barrage. Legitimately, if you end up in a 1v1 against another Calyrex, which is really easy to achieve when you one-shot everything, whoever wins comes down to that coin flip basically every time. Good luck! Someone needs to stop this thing. Luckily in Gen 9, Game Freak gifted us with four legendary Dark-type Pokemon who already have beef with the king. I'm not kidding, within the lore they have beef with the king of Paldea, so we can probably sick them on this king? That might work? Apparently, Wo Chen, Chi Yu, Chen Pao, and Ting Lu were all treasures purchased by the King of Paldea, whose greed caused them to awaken into these beasts. And they couldn't come soon enough. Chen Pao can reliably combo Ice Spinner into Sucker Punch to KO Calyrex. Wo Chen can wall it out with its high special defense while spamming Snarl and healing its partners with Pollen Puff. Ting Lu just straight up makes Calyrex look like a peasant with its ability reducing special attack. And Chi Yu. Well, Chi Yu's more of an enabler. Good luck switching in on Beads of Ruin Astral Barrage. Speaking of counters, how did Fluttermane manage to get power corrupt? This thing dominated the metagame since the day it dropped, and it doesn't have nearly the impact it should in restricted formats. I'll tell you why. Because Calyrex Shadow is just straight up faster and stronger. Fluttermane in Regulation G is practically forced to run Focus Sash or Booster Energy to either live a hit or outspeed Calyrex. And I got some bad news for you. Sash Flutter will always lose to Sash Calyrex, and Booster Flutter will always lose to a Calyrex with any form of speed control, even Iron Bundle. It's a shame, really. I, I was kind of hoping Fluttermane would cause a decrease in horse spam, but right after I dropped the problem with Fluttermane video, it just got stat mogged immediately. Don't worry though, Fluttermane. Calyrex is a generous king. Why else would he have Baton Pass? Here, when he's done one-shotting three out of the four Pokemon the opponent has, you can have the boost to finish off their... I don't know, whatever's left, you can deal with it. On a related note, why is it that Zacian and Zamazenta got nerfed in the transition from Generation 8 to Generation 9, but Calyrex Shadow, the Pokemon that actually won the World Championship, was completely untouched? I mean, Zacian I understand the nerf for, Zamazenta kinda just caught a stray, but even Calyrex Ice had its signature move nerf from 130 to 120 power. But why on earth did the objective best Pokemon in the game remain exactly the same? Because he's the king, baby. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you like this type of video and what Pokemon I should cover next in the comment section down below. Consider becoming a channel member or a Patreon supporter like all the lovely people whose names are on screen right now. Links to both are in the description down below. There's more videos coming up on the screen in a playlist right now, so check those out if you want to see more from me. Thanks for watching. Bye.